First responders in St. Johns County say that they responded to 13 water rescue calls yesterday along the St. Augustine beaches. And tonight they're still searching for one swimmer who was pulled away in the rough current. On your side's Kaylee Tracy is live in St. Augustine Beach this evening with the details for us. Kaylee. Yeah, Anthony and Heather, the police chief here in St. Augustine says we're about one on 14th Street. He says that is where 22 year old Jacob Emanuel Turner was pulled out into the ocean yesterday afternoon. And just to give you some perspective, take a look here behind me. The pier, the first responders say that they were right around the pier, saving another man from the current when they raced down here to try to save Turner. By the time they got down here, they couldn't reach him. Mother Nature is such a strong uh, beast and we ask you just to you know, adhere to her warning when these flags are flying. Monday, the red flag flying again at St. Augustine Beach, signaling rough surf. Hazard conditions, uh, strong current, and uh, it's just it's dangerous conditions. Dangerous conditions that caused 13 water rescue calls Sunday, one man to go into cardiac arrest, and swept another swimmer out to sea. We'll continue to search, you know, as long as we can, and uh, hope for the best. Unfortunately, um, it, it could be more of a recovery than it is um, uh, uh, rescue operations. St. Augustine Police Chief Robert Hardwick says 22-year-old Jacob Emanuel Turner is here on vacation from Tampa with his friends who were also in the ocean when he was pulled out to sea. That's how quick this ocean is and, and how unpredictable it could be. First responders from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office, Fire and Rescue, St. Augustine Police Department, and Coast Guard are searching for Turner from the shore and by air. But Hardwick says the current is too rough to take boats out to search. That rough current didn't keep some people from swimming, though. Um, this is awesome. This is the way of life. I've lived here my whole life. I'm gonna keep doing it. Not a good idea, says Hardwick. He advises not going further than knee deep in the water if you go in at all. We have to ask you to, to please use some uh, of your own self responsibility, but you're putting your first responders and not just us in the way uh, in harm's way, but you're putting these citizens that are actually watching you, visitors that uh, will do anything to save a person's life. And important to know those flags you saw there are not up and down the beach. They're just at most of the public beach accesses. So here on 14th Street, they are not in this area. That is important to note. But the police chief says, please check social media before getting in the water. They'll have the flags, whether they're red or whatever color they are that day, and the advisory posted there. And just a reminder, if you do get caught in a rip current to swim parallel to the shore, that rip current risk is heightened for the entire week. For now, reporting in St. Augustine, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.